Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this isn't going to be that neat of a video for most of you, but some people maybe just don't understand. When you're sending your, when you're saving your file, you just go up to save, and I always go save as because I want to name it, and unless you've opened it before, it needs a name. But if you're going to send this file to somebody to look at, that also has Corel Draw, but you have, I have X6 and uh, the gentleman tonight had X7. So if he saves it and sends it to me, I can't open it because my six won't open a seven. So like if you're sharing on Facebook and you want to share something you created, or you just have a question about something, when you go to save as, you would go to, mine is going to save it in the pictures right now, but I would just type in text, test. But then right here, you can save it as a version. Most people are going to have 13 or better. So save it as 13. I'm not going to save this because I don't want this on my computer. But then all you do is to hit save. Well, I did save it. I'll remove it. Anyway, that's a good way to share files. Uh, you know, most people, you know, I've been in it, I've been engraving for about six years and I started with X3 and then to five and then to six and I haven't gone to seven yet. Maybe I'll wait for X20, but because I'm really happy with X6. But anyway, that's the way to share your files with people that aren't, have a corral that maybe not as new as yours. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.